Hey guys, so today's video is in the series of the ATITs. This is going to be on the reading section. So the first section um, that you take when you take the TEAS exam. All right, so let's get started. So I'm just going back to this book because I don't have my um, ATITs manual. Um, I did have it because I rented it from my school's library when I studied, but um, I don't actually own it. So um, I'm going to go through using this one, but they're fairly similar, this one and the ATITs manual. Um, if you can afford it or if your school offers it, I would encourage you guys to get both books because there are a lot of practice problems in this book um, and the T's manual doesn't have as many. Um, and also this book goes into a lot more detail. The T's manual will just say, you know, know the main ideas, but then it won't really break it down any further. And this book does a good job of like breaking things down a step further. So. If you have the time, I would definitely read through both books. Um, so just to get started. So the first thing it goes over is you need to be able to interpret text. So know what the main idea is, know what the subject is, um, know what the topic is with being discussed. So for this section, they usually will give you like a long paragraph and it will say like, what is the main idea? My advice is you don't want to go too slow because obviously you're timed, but read slowly. I think that um, naturally, you know, we'd want to jump around and kind of figure out this is the main idea, okay, on to the next question. But really, if you just take a deep breath, read through the whole thing and be like, this is the main idea and pick it out. Because what happens is when we jump around, like when I'm skimming, trying to find the main idea, I'm not going to be able to identify it. It's just not going to happen. So then I'm going to read through the answers and be like, oh, I don't know. And then I'm going to go back and read through again. Now it's taking twice as long. So I might as well have just sat there and taken a minute or two to read through the entire paragraph and be able to identify the main idea and move on to the next question. Because... There are quite a few questions in this section, um, so it is, I know it's in here, so 53 questions in 64 minutes, um, so that gives you a little more than a minute per question, however, there are questions that will be fairly quick to answer in the reading section. For example, some of them, they give you like maps and they say like, if you go down the street and take a right and then take a left, where are you? It should only take you like 15 seconds to do that. So we do have time to take a little bit longer on the reading section. So don't stress too much um, about the time limit and really just take your time and try to identify the information that it's asking for. All right. Um, you know, they ask you about topic and summary sentences. They ask you about supporting details. Um, let me see. Um, they ask you like fact versus opinion. So all of these things are straightforward. And if any of these that you feel like you don't understand, you can just look them up. Um, there were some things in here that I wasn't sure about. So I had to look them up. For example, identifying if it is a narrative or persuasive or... Um, there's a couple other ones. Um, I didn't really know what those were, um, you know, because I'm a science major, not an English major. Um, so I had to look all that stuff up. So as you're reading through the sections in the book, just identifying the things that you don't know. Um, also taking the practice exams or the practice questions will help you to identify where you need work in these sections. Um, so like text and structure drawing conclusions. So it's really, can you read this and understand what is going on? Make a conclusion, tell is it an opinion or a fact? Are they trying to persuade you? Um, you know, things like that. Oh, this is where they get into. Okay, so perfect. This is what I didn't know. So here is something that you might have to look up. So the author's purpose, um, you know, is it a technical writing? Is it a persuasive? Is it rhetorical? Are there strategies? Um, does it appeal to emotion? All of these things are under this understanding the author section and that was something that I was like, oh, I don't know this, so I need to read through it. So it's just identifying uh, what you need. Um, tone and mood, who the audience is, words and context. Um, so being able to identify a description of a word. Um, So 
So typically with these ones, when um, it's like find the definition, pretty much it gives you the definition in the sentence. If you just take a second to breathe and um, read through it, because you know sometimes we can focus on, oh my God, I don't know what that word means, and then we get it wrong because we're just focused on that we don't know what the word means. Okay. So one challenge of teaching is finding ways to insensitivize, I don't even know if I said that right, I'm not an English person, or to motivate and learn. So right there, it gives you the answer. This word means to motivate or learn. So which of the following is the meaning of insensitized as used in the sentence? A, encourage, B, reward, C, to challenge, or D, to improve? Well, we know it means to motivate and learn. So A, encourage, right? Because we're not rewarding, we're not challenging, we're not improving, we're motivating to learn. So we're encouraging. So the answer is A. So right there, I mean, those should take you literally 15 seconds and it gives you the answer in the question. So just remember, I think the biggest thing with the reading section and doing well is just breathing and not psyching yourself out. Once you psych yourself out, then it's like, you know what I mean? You're just gonna focus on, I don't know what the topic is. I don't know what the meaning of this word is. The reading section, the answer is right in front of you. So just remember that. I got this, the answer's in front of me. Just take it slow and you can do it. Um, talks about research skills, evaluating. Okay, so that's it for interpreting text. And the next thing, and this is honestly the easiest you guys can do this for real. Um, graphic representations of information. So it's going to show you a map like this. And it's going to say like, if you start at the campground and go like, you know, past the ranger station, like it, it's just following the map, you know. Um, like, where will you end up? Very straightforward, fairly easy. Just follow the directions, take it slow, breathe. Um, graphs and charts, I mean, fairly simple. If you guys feel like you don't understand graphs and charts, definitely watch a YouTube video on it. Um, so yeah, I mean, it will show you a graph or chart like this, and it will be, like, according to the information, um, which one is correct? The average score for students was lower for test four than test two, and you look. Well, test four was higher than test two, so that's not the answer, and move on to the next one. You know what I mean? It's just interpreting information. It's looking at something and reading it. It's very straightforward. Another thing, um, make sure you understand these um, blood pressure monitors. Um, you don't need to know, like, too too much but it's just like the device illustrated above is to measure which of the following and it's blood pressure so just be aware of that um then also like this one shows you a heart now um i'll let you guys know i didn't get that one on the test the ones that i got on the exam were like these they were like like maps like that and then obviously some graphs but i didn't get a heart um thing but maybe you will so according to the figure which of the following separates the right from the left ventricle. So you just look um, on here, you know, and it but it tells you, that's the thing. So let's see, oh, there's the right atrium and, wait, what are we looking for? Yeah, the right atrium and the right ventricle. Well, what's in the middle? It's the tricuspid valve, you know? It just shows you, it's just interpreting the data. So. All right, and then, okay, I did get one of these on the exam, so definitely um, review these. So you start off with something that looks like this, and then it'll be like, remove block three. Well, now what does it look like? Remove block, put block four where block three used to be. So, and it gives you all these steps, swap blocks one and two. So what I did is you have a piece of paper and a pencil when you take the exam to like do the math or whatever, and I drew it out each step. So, right, so, the first one, remove block three, so I remove it. Um, remove, put block four where block three used to be, so then I draw that out, and then swap one and two, and then I draw that out, and then you figure out which the answer is. So I think the biggest thing for um, the reading section, again, is just taking it slow, 
um, knowing that the answer is right in front of you. Um, this may sound really lame, but before I took the T's exam, I did 10 deep breaths, really focusing on the air going in through my nose and out through my mouth. And that is going to lower our heart rate and calm us down. Um, if you find that you have anxiety before an exam, that is a great thing to do. It's literally done wonders for me um, because that is our you know, nervous system reacting the um, limbic part of our brain, so like the middle of our brain, right, that's kind of like our smoke detector is like going off because we're nervous and we're like, oh my god, if I don't do good, this and this and that. So you want to try to like relax that and deep breaths definitely help. All right, so I have a list here of other stuff to know for this section. Let me make sure I covered everything. Um, so... I think I said most of these, some of your senses. So identifying the author's intent or purpose, be able to do that. Um, oh, okay, so identify whether the writing is persuasive, informative, entertaining, or expressive. So those are big ones, so definitely um, get you know your little notebook and write down what the differences between all of those are. You might be able to actually find worksheets online that might be helpful to um, be able to identify text structure as a problem solution, sequencing, cause and effect, or description. So that as well should maybe write that in the notebook. Um, let's see. I think we did everything else. So choosing an appropriate title for a given paragraph, um, so that's pretty straightforward, but um, you really want to think about it because some of the answers are very similar. Um, be able to identify what the author means to convey with italicized or bold letters. So that's another one. Um, oh, getting information out of a telephone book. That was also in uh, mine. So be able to, you know, I mean, that's what, it's pretty straightforward, but again, just go slow. That's the biggest thing. It's little, for this part, it is just little errors that make, you know, the big issue um, and then be able to read a map, knowing which way is like north, south, east, west. Um, big for that is to look at the, um, I forget what it's called, but on the map it should show you which way is north, south, east, west. Because typically when we look at something, you know, if I look at a map of the U.S., I'm like, oh, west is this way, east is that way. You have to be able to orient yourself to the picture that they have, if that makes sense. So um, that's another thing. So yeah, I would say that's about it for the reading section. Um, and you guys will all do great. Just really, it is about going slow. Remembering that the answer is right in front of you. Um, go with your gut instinct and um, just take it slow. And, um, you know, do the deep breaths, remain relaxed, and you should all do great. All right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe below. I will be coming out with at least a video a week. So make sure to let me know the type of things that you guys want to see. I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, bye.